Capitol Hill, Democrats are pushing for gun reform. Republicans, generally speaking, do not appear to be on board. Joining us now is Senator Pat Toomey, Republican from the Great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Senator, thanks for joining us. Um, your Senate colleague, Joe Manchin, called on the Senate to pass bipartisan red flag laws or expanded background checks. As our viewers probably recall, you worked with Manchin on legislation to expand background checks at gun shows a few years ago. Uh, is that the legislation that could come to the floor? And are there nine other Republicans that could support it? Well, that's the big question, Jake. Thanks for having me on. Um, look, I still strongly believe that the idea that Joe Manchin and I had that requiring background checks on all commercial sales of firearms is a completely reasonable uh, policy that does not infringe on Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens. And we did have a bipartisan vote, but of course we, we couldn't get to 60. Um, there's a group of us who are going to get together and we're going to discuss this and see if um, we might be able to get to 60 with anything close to that. Uh, there has also been some discussion about red flag legislation. Um, the concept is, is kind of broadly appealing, but the details are really, really tough. So um, that's, that's a discussion. Both of those are discussions that are, are effectively underway. Um, neither, uh, well, I, I, it's unclear about red flag laws, obviously, the specifics, but, but uh, certainly the gun show um, loophole closer, closure would not have affected this particular tragedy right. in, in Texas. Um, he bought the guns legally. Uh, right. after he turned 18. Now, there's some people out there, Democrats, mainly who say an 18-year-old is not considered responsible enough to buy a beer. Why are we allowing them to purchase an AR-15? Uh, what do you make of that argument? Yeah, I hear that argument. Uh, on the other hand, you know, an 18-year-old is considered responsible enough to lose his or her life in the defense of this country, uh, responsible enough to cast a vote that decides the future of the country. To, can hold office, uh, many offices in this country. Uh, so it's a, it's a hard thing to say, but sorry, you can't, you, you don't have the right to defend yourself. You don't have the Second Amendment right. And by the way, the Ninth Circuit Court has recently ruled in a California case that um, that constitutional right does begin at age 18. So uh, I think that's, that's very problematic. Can I just say, this goes to the heart of uh, the, the difficulty, and I, I think it was missing, frankly, in the arguments made by the, the previous guests that you had, and that is, there's no easy solution to this, Jake. There's not. Uh, I still strongly support expanding background checks because I think on the margins it'll be helpful to make it more difficult for someone who's me dangerously mentally ill or a dangerous criminal to purchase a firearm. But as you pointed out, had Manchin Toomey been the law of the land, this guy still would have been able to buy the guns. Yeah. Um, so there is no easy solution here. We've got a huge mental health problem in this country. That's the common denominator in these cases. Um, I'm in favor of doing what makes sense that still respects the rights of law-abiding citizens, but we shouldn't kid ourselves about there being a, some simple bill that solves this problem. The former Senate Majority Leader, Republican Senator Bill Frist uh, tweeted today, quote, Firearms became the leading cause of death for American children and teenagers in 2020. I cannot imagine this is what the Founding Fathers hoped for or intended. We can find ways to preserve the intent of the Second Amendment while also safeguarding the lives of our children. Our kids have a right to feel safe going to school. The time to act is now. Uh, he seems to be suggesting there uh, that the Second Amendment, uh, as enshrined in the Constitution, uh, I, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but he seems to be saying this is not what the Founding Fathers hoped or intended. What do you say to that? Well, I, look, I don't think the Founding Fathers um, certainly didn't intend for these completely deranged homicidal individuals to go into a school and start shooting children. I, I'm quite certain they didn't intend that. But they did know that crime, crime existed. Crime existed at that time. They did know criminals liked to use weapons. That happened at that time as well. Um, so this is, a, this is a really challenging problem. Again, I still fully support sensible reforms that, that Senator Manchin and I agreed on years ago, and we did get a bipartisan vote for. I'm just cautioning everyone to understand that there's a real serious mental health problem at the heart of this, and that's a hard one to solve.